home of the Yolanda Adams Morning Show, is Philly's favorite 100.7 and 99.5 HD3. Listen, this is the Love Series part. This week, we had a write-in, or I don't know you call it a post-in. I don't know how, do you, how, do you, how they're coming to you, Aaliyah, but we'll take it. Um, a nice private DM. The, <laughs> the um, question was, why do men uh, get with a woman and they're not ready? Am I saying that right? Yeah, why do why do men pursue women they're not ready for? Right. Why do men pursue women that yeah, they're they are not, not ready, ready for? It. Right. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's deep. That is. That, that I'm is. glad you. Read it. you I'm, I'm glad it you read it back. Was, that yeah, that was. That different. did no justice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Why do men pursue women that they are not ready? They're for? not ready for. I gotta hear this one because this Ooh. might this might be a take off your glasses and. And button your top button. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> preacher. Um, so <laughs> here we go. Um, you have different type of men. So you have some men who no, they're not ready because men sometimes we haven't found out who we are yet. That's number one. The other thing is when you see a good woman, you surely don't want to sit around and let somebody else take her. Right? Okay. You follow me? We're following you. Okay. And then the other thing is, some men just don't know what to do with a good woman. Hmm. Now. You know, you know. Oh, okay. I'm going to let you finish. Okay. <laughs> let, 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 me, let me finish. This is, this is very important because I did see a post this week. I'm mad I didn't, didn't, I didn't catch it. They said some mothers overly mother their men or their boys to where when they get older, they're not really able to be men, men. So the first nurture of, all, of any parent is, is the mother. So sometimes as, as men, we can, we can be almost like in a situation to where you um, are so nurtured by your mother that when you get with a woman, a good woman, that nurturing process continues, but not knowing it's supposed to be reciprocal. So that sounds like some type of cycle to me, right? So it's almost like, you know, well, you know, when I was young, you know, everybody used to do this and do that to me. But there's got to be some point where you, as a man, like, I got to grow up and break away from mom because I'm trying to pursue now my manhood, my adult. I want relationships. You can't wrap yourself up in that same, you know, you got you to gotta level up, I guess, right? You know, it kind of feels like a game sort of sometimes. Yeah. Um, and that, so I get what you said, Lamont, um, but I still feel like, I guess maybe it is something unconscious, but I don't know. It just sometimes feel like a game. And I just, is it like for some men where it's just like, let me just see if I can. Mm. Well, yes, very, very That's true. Good. Some men want to see if they can, but I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. You guys hold the power. True. Very true. So, at, 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 and I mean, hold the power. Like when I say hold the power, I mean, hold the power. Like. A man is gonna level up when you make him level up. That's very true. You know what I'm saying? They used to say all the time when he was growing up that a man will only treat you how you allow him to treat you, and that's a very true statement. You know what I'm saying? So guess what, homie? If you're not serious about this situation, which means putting a ring on it, which means you know building a house and a home and and being a provider, and if you're not that being serious, being faithful, being faithful. Yeah. If you're not that serious, then then keep it moving. But you know what I'm saying? That's a good point, though. But but you, you guys got to hold them to the standard. Sure. You guys mm -hmm. have the power. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we as men, of course, we're supposed to lead and we're supposed to be the head and, you know, the macho. And, but you guys still obtain that power. We cannot do what you don't allow us to. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I think women have, some women have lowered their standards. And they allow it. You know what I'm saying? Whether they lack love or lack some type of attention. And let's do, let's keep it a little bit, um, you know, even some some honesty is that there becomes an intimidation period too. Whereas some men seek after women that you're like, I can go after, and I think she is, and I think I'm capable, and I think I am, and you're just not ready for that type of woman. It could be age, it could be maturity, it could be you know where you are in life. You know, it's just like some things like, oh, I'm gonna go after her because I think she looks good. So mm -hmm. now we're dealing with the outside. 
And then once you tap into her inside, it's like, oh, oh, no, no, no. I wasn't ready for that intellect. I wasn't ready for that beauty on the inside. I wasn't yeah. ready for that. You know, then it becomes like overbearing. Now it's like your pullback as a man becomes like, oh, this is not a game. This is especially, who I can't, right? right? Yeah, especially with like no intention to commit, I guess, too. That's the part where I always just kind of get stuck at that I really don't understand with men. Okay, so so let, let me, if you don't mind, let me dig on that a little bit. Um, men will only commit when they're ready. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by they're ready, meaning they've had enough of the nonsense. So now you have certain women who have to put themselves, once again, you guys have the power. You have to put yourself in the category of the casual or the commitment. So you have to make yourself say, listen, oh, oh, that's what that, oh, that's the game you're playing right now. Well, when you're ready for commitment, prayerfully, I'll still be here. So you know how about saying? this? Not how about when nobody. men don't, how about when men don't express that though? I feel like a lot of times men don't, they'll say they want to commit, but they don't express that they are still, that they still want to be casual at the same time. <laughs> wow. When they don't express it. Yeah. See now with I that. I feel like women, like, like you said, we do hold the power mm -hmm. and we give you guys that chance and we'll mm -hmm. say like, Hey, maybe I, am, I want to be in a committed relationship. The guy will say, okay, let's do it. But then the guy will still go off and do his thing. And then I guess at that point we have to hold them accountable. But like, that's the game I'm talking about. Like God, men will say that they want this, but then it's a whole, when we, when we give them the opportunity to, but then it's like a whole different ball game. Mm. Well, yo, let me tell that you they're something. playing by themselves. But let me tell you something. Mm. Let, let me tell you something. They're playing by themselves, but let me let me tell you something. Steve Harvey said it best, but I'm going to say it another way. Steve Harvey said it's a 90-day rule. I believe in a 45-day rule. 45 days. In those 45 days, that man will show you his character. If he don't go to work in 45 days, that's a problem. If he don't go to church within 45 days, that's a problem. If he don't talk to his mama within 45 days, that's a problem. Like, there's things that the, his character will show you versus what his mouth is saying. Mm -hmm. It won't take that long. But. but I'm just saying, I'm saying 45 days. I'm giving you 45 because 21 days, anything's a habit. So if you miss church for two weeks, eh, eh, eh. but if you can just continually <laughs> miss it or, or don't log on and you you can't talk about, like Leah, we talk even about Pastor Todd. Mm-hmm. Within a month, we're going to talk about him within this month. If we don't, that means, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't make sense. So you, you got to watch people's character and who they're around. If you're with your boys six days a week, you're probably going to be with your boys six days a week when you get engaged, when you get married. Your character normally doesn't change. But it should. Because it, if it, you it are in a relationship. It, it should. Now. But what I'm saying is right. for you guys, I'm giving you guys something to look for. Right. Mm -hmm. if, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, if this person has only been... 12 days, you're not getting much out of them no. in 12 days. Mm -hmm. they can 45, tell you 45 is a good, yeah, that's, that's a, a good, good window. window. Right. Yeah, that's, a good yeah, window. You, you, that's a month and a half, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's a, a long time. That's well, a I have a PSA. For the men out there, this is not man bashing, you know, but um, a <laughs> PSA for the men out there. If you are not ready to be in a committed situation, then, that matter of fact, no. The PSA is, if you see a good woman Woman out here minding her business, uh, drinking her water, eating her vegetables, going to work, getting money, talking to God, and she's just living her best life, you know? Just leave her alone. Okay? <laughs> Thank if you. you're not ready. <laughs> if you're not ready. If you're not ready. Yes, sir. <laughs> because if you see that same character in that woman and you are ready, you got to know that, you know. You well, I do, I do have a mind, a, a mind stopping thought though. Oh, what gosh. about the woman who the man is honest about, but she still wants to pursue him in that way? Because there's some men out here that will be honest. Oh, well, that's her well, fault. Yeah. I'm talking about the men who who just be faking out here. They be faking. They, they be faking, faking out here. Because whoever, whoever sent that DM, girl, I can relate. Wow. 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 Yo. Hey, to my men, let's man up. <laughs> we can't up. have that. The, listen, <laughs> we can't have that. The home. best thing you can have is a is a is a is a woman on your side. One. But a good one. I said yes. one though. Just one though. Cause you gotta one. But you can have it, one. It's the power of one though. Yeah, that's true. You can have one, but then to have a good one, like you got double thing going on there. Yeah, you gotta have a good one, yo. And guess yeah. what? If you be good to her, she'll be good to you. Very that's good. True. That's, that's real true. rap. Anyway, listen, if you're an artist in Philadelphia and you want to submit your music, please hit us up at Philly's Favor at Gospel Goodies. 
Uh, if you have new inspirational songs you think Philly needs to hear, you can also sing your songs to gospelgoodiesonline at gmail.com. New music continues to 11. Here's another good gospel goodie.